Right, so um, there's this uh, there's a sample text in which a person have to fill out this portion out of a multiple choice question, and uh, yeah, I was asked to explain uh, explain. How it works. And um, I think to explain this, I think this is a pretty good example of a general structure where you would, and where in the last part you'll be using this and this. Uh, okay. So first we have this section. So like this needs to go in a sequence. This needs to go in a in a sequence. And um first we have this first section which sets the subject for the rest of the paragraph. Um what should we do about this? This is this is like the first part. Wait, where's the background? So it's like the okay. and then uh, we have what should we call this? This is like the the rule. No. <laughs> The thing that's not the exception, the normal. Well, it says normal right here, but yeah. And that's defined like here. Uh, we're saying normally we do it this way. The, and the only reason you normal, you'd say normally X, Y, and Z is to say, oh, but there's an exception to the norm. So, wait, actually, Forget that. <laughs> uh, no, it, it's just explaining why it done this. No, there's no exception. There's no exception. Uh, well, uh, there is a bit of an exception in which you're told, oh, okay, so there's this party and it's like this expensive food. Um, and people's automatic assumption would be, okay, so all that food is going to be for the people participating in the party, in the festival. Uh, so that's kind of implied in here. And then it's followed, oh, but it's not uh, it's not that way. So here we go with uh, what should we call this? Um reversal turnaround. What's 반전 in English? Reversal? <laughs> no, but 반전 is used specifically when talking about plot points. So I don't think reversal is a good... Yes, yes, unexpected. Twist. Yes. Okay. However, well, it's this. I am not. And this explains the twist. Okay, is this an explanation or is this like a further? No, this is a mirror description. This description. 
and because this is a description of the twist is why we have Hetton Goshida instead of Het Dotta, which should be the one where not where we are not assuming this structure where we have the topic just where it's, it's normal, but there's a twist and we are trying to describe it. So if we're if this structural if it was not structurally set up this way, then you just say Chumbi Hesosota. Chumbi Hesosota or Hesota. And Chigunandi and Ibura Manum Shigul Chumbi Hesosota. Hesota. They just say it's Hesota. I'm a little bit confused, not sure which one is correct. But um uh what this Koshita is doing here is doing this the fact that this thing was happening that the Hesata is the content of the how how the this this uh unfolding of the plot that's coming through the words of however it was not and instead it was this and in fact there could be more sentence selling between the three and four and then at the koshita like add up like a pure description here's a bit of an intent described here you could have a, like a pure description of what's actually happening just and and just portray as a third party observer be like well you could see something like this the sentence something like this you could see um you could see lines you could see streets filled with people receiving uh bags of this delicious food being distributed i don't know at the backyard where would they give this to the plebeians but at the backyard maybe uh backdoor entrance um to people and then that probably takes the interest of the reader and then it comes the koshita uh, the sentence that is enclosed by the question. Now, uh, this last sentence, sure, I guess it's a bit of a 4.1 and not a 4a. This is like one more twist description, but this is not a, this is a description of the description. So, Yeah. And why were they doing that? Oh, yeah, I don't think this really happened very often, but I think it's a bit of a romanticized description of what happened a few other times. But yeah, that's why this is here. Now, could you use the Koshida without, without the structure? I guess you can use it as long as there's a as there is um something else describing the previous sentence and the writer feels the writer feels that that previous sentence by itself is not enough it's not self like explanatory enough and requires some more description or some more how do you say explanation uh, uh some developing more development of the ideas um so then you could add that so what would be an example of that? <laughs> uh, uh, um Not sure how to make a simple sentence. This sentence ended up being super complicated. Uh, the 
page है ना <laughs> okay, here I use the Koshi dot again. Now, here you now this this use of Koshi is a little bit different because uh, if you used if you used the uh, And if you just use Honda, I think it would still work. Well, I guess you also need to take out Kogie. Kogie feels a little bit superfluous from the perspective of like a rhythmic balance of the sentence. Uh, unyul is what you call um, because we have hanun goshida which is relatively like it's five syllables it's relatively long so therefore adding this unneeded uh, qualifier kogie feels balanced like the left and the right of the sentence feels balanced but if you take this out and shorten it to a two syllable handa this part feels a little bit superfluous. Like it feels a little bit like um, uh, what's the word? Um, uh, there's a kosasongo in Korean that says um, there's too much pomp for nothing. Um, But there is something. So it just feels like you added the kogie, making sound like there's gonna be this this tremendous reveal of the <laughs> of the hidden uh, factors, and it just turns out you just narrated, you just listed three three items, and then ended with handa, and it just kind of feels like deflating, deflating, um, like oh. Uh, it feels a little bit disappointing that there's this buildup and then the end is yeah kind of deflating and that's why I would take out Kogie and now it becomes a bit of a dry sentence uh, and it just states some facts and it doesn't try to do any any literary liter, literary um, embellishment of the, of the sentence. Oh, you know? so, so here is replaceable. Now, would it be replaceable here? Because I said it was not, re I told you it was not replaceable. Yeah, it definitely doesn't because. Again, as I as I said, there's this development, there's this um there's this um mounting up. What's it called? Mounting up development. Like the tension keeps increasing as we are going through the phases phase one, phase two, we are like, oh, okay. And three, with this twist, is where the tension suddenly goes goes up and you're like oh my god so what's what's this hidden twist that's gonna happen and you learn this and you're like wow the king was so generous i'm so impressed blah 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 and then uh, it's, a, it's a bit of a recap again um i guess it's not exactly needed but i guess it's just to i guess it's just to appease people who might feel I don't know, greedy people who might feel like, why are you wasting food away to the poor, to the simple folk? <laughs> and <laughs> I guess it's like a defense of that. So, yeah, it's not. But the only reason this is 
you cannot replace it out because it goes in as part of this paragraph. If the sentence went on its own, then it's fine. Shouldn't be hetta. Yeah. Then this is you no know, just the sentence without the rest of it. It's fine. But because we have this buildup, it's just too. It goes too much against the current, the current of the overall paragraph buildup. So that's why you need the koshita to indicate. What did I say? Uh, it connects with the previous sentence. It says, "Well, this food was not just for the for the." uh for the novels but it was also for the poor people um and the koshida along with the kurona play the role of connecting these two sentences um so for this sentence the kurona koshida plays the role of but also but also yeah i guess but also something like that and it connects those two 